Well, it's Sam and Joyce, the old couple. Today we'll be over at Swanee. We're over at Trevor at Swanee and we're going to head out in the golf and try to catch some Spanish mackerel. We haven't been here in how long? A couple of months because oh, every yeah. time we want to come here, the weather's bad. We don't have very good luck with weather. No, it still ain't good. Yep. So we'll get back to you when we're out there fishing. This is what they call one foot or less. Give you hitting up three feet. We rode over here, one foot or less. We don't have very much luck with the uh, green board here. Me and I. Yeah, good, good. I had to slow down. You got the first mackerel? I don't know what he is. Something. Oh. Yeah, it's a mackerel. Uh, ladyfish. A ladyfish. <laughs> yeah, they can mess the boat up. Yeah, there he is. That's a nice size one too. Yeah. Oh, we should have skunked. Right. There he is. That's nice. That's a nice size one. What you want to do with these mackerel? You want to bleed them right away because they're a lot. Way better. That's a pretty fish. Yeah. Let's catch some more. Okay. He's being a hog today. Yeah, you can't get your line in No, right? no. I think you're doing it on purpose. Yeah. All right, here, here, here. Oh, ladyfish. A big ladyfish. Wow, that is a big one. A big oh, look at the mess. Nice crab meat, yes. Yeah. Alright Joyce, we don't want any ladyfish. No, they make a big net. Yeah. Look at the grass. Lots of grass. It's awesome. Hey, awesome. Yep. There he is again, another one. Oh, it looks like a Think? It's a mackerel. Oh, yeah, that is big one. Mm hmm. Super nice. There he comes. That's yeah. They're they're great mackerel. I can make some uh, barbecue ribs with them too. Yeah. That's a nice size one. That's a good size mark. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is. That's a nice one. Looks like he's heavy. Yeah, that's a nice mark. Okay, let's catch him more. Okay. He's the mackerel hog today. Yeah. He's not letting me catch any no. today. No. I was putting my line in the water. In fact, it might be still running. No, it's in. It's still out. He got off. Yeah. Got your first mackerel, maybe? Maybe. Done catch it. Are you done catching ladyfish? I don't know how long you've been towing this thing, but you were. I looked over and you were asleep back there. We were trolling. I fell asleep. <laughs> and the rod's bending in there. <laughs> yeah. I, I trolled to a little different area of trying it out and there wasn't nothing there. But I guess there is. We just caught something. We don't know what we got on. I don't know. He won't come in. Keep him going. You probably have a big hole in his mouth from towing him so much. 
Oh, I don't think it's a ladyfish. Look at him running. <laughs> yeah. You don't trust yourself lifting them in? No. Okay, I can get it real quick. I got a coat hanger from our life jackets. <laughs> and that was in the center console. Well, that's a big fish. That's heavy. Slack it off. Slack it off. Ooh, that's a big old fish. Right, slack it off some more, Joyce. That's the biggest one of the day. That's a big mackerel. He sure is. Yeah, he was hooked good. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. That's a nice mackerel. That's a big, that's a big mackerel. Yeah. All right. Well, let's bleed them. Yeah. See if there's any other big ones down there. That's a nice fish. Yeah. That's <laughs> big, isn't he? One fillet will feed us both. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's a, a big. big one. Spanish mackerel. That's how Joyce fishes. What? Yeah, you woke you up. You heard your name. She sits there and sleeps, and I look back and I see her rod bed. Hey, you got a big one on. <laughs> one thing, this troll takes a lot of skill. A lot of skill. <laughs> yeah. All right, maybe one will hit it right now while I'm taking yeah. a video. She says she's trying not to get sick. It's a little bumpy out today. Yeah, that fish maybe made you feel better. Oh yeah, he made me feel better. There he is. A long while. I had a nice nap. Yep. Not a big one, but good eating size. Yep. Well, what we're using today to catch these mackerel is a silver spoon and about 10, 11 inches of wire with a haywire twist. That's why we attach the spoon to the wire using a haywire twist. And what's important to use these ball bearing swivels. If you don't use a ball bearing swivel, it will twist up on you. It happens to us. Sometimes you get away with a standard barrel swivel, but it's not worth it. It'll, sometimes you don't get anything in, it'll curl a little bit and it'll twist up. And we're using 20 pound mono for the main line. And that's plenty good enough for these mackerel. Even if you get a king, you can handle that with a 20 pound line. And we're trolling about four mile an hour. Hey, this is your rod. Oh uh, yeah, I know you just took you it. You were sleeping again. Yeah. That ain't fair. Oh, I didn't want to lose the fish. You're still sleeping. Oh, get in there. There he is. That's your fish. That's, look at it. It was nasty out here today. He don't bring you in when you don't feel good. He makes you stay out here. I've gotten used to it for 50 some years. Well, uh, once you get out of here. Yeah. I don't feel that bad. It's just. No, nah, if it was more action, it wasn't it was kind of slow today. Yeah. If, oh, yeah. If we were bailing them, it would all go away. Well, all we wanted, to, we wanted to catch a few for dinner. Right, right. we got we got plenty so we for got dinner. For dinner, that's mm -hmm. one fish is for dinner. Oh yeah, they're pretty fish. Yeah, they're, they're beautiful fish. You're awake now. You're afraid I'll take your fish, right? Mm -hmm. See? Guard my rod now. Yeah. Right. You're asleep. I'll just take them.
dolphin are escorting us in. Hey, Joy, you can make it up here, you can see them. Dolphin. You'll see it in the video. Yeah, there you go. You just missed him. Oh, yeah, I see this. They're claiming our boat. That's pretty neat, isn't it? That's pretty neat, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we're done for the day, and we had a lot of fun today, didn't we, Joyce? A lot of fun. You know, catching the Well, we got five mackerel, but see that big one there? Just half of that one will feed us both. That's a big mackerel. Oh, yeah. That's, that's uh, two meals. Yeah, and you're happy to go in. Very happy. Because you can see in. the white caps in the background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be up to cooking? Yeah, I'll be all right. That's good. See? Yeah, I'm fine. All right, you're going to suck it up and cook. <laughs> yeah. Once you get in, you'll be all right. Well, I don't, I'm, I'm okay. It's just a little bit. So we'll get back here. We're at the trailer cooking these uh, mackerel. one of these uh, mackerel for dinner tonight, but mackerel is one of the easier fish to clean. If we just cut it behind the head and just work it down the backbone. And what you do, you'll get, you'll get crab bait out of here and we'll get bait for what we use sometimes to troll and uh, tip our bucktail. Or we just use this for bait a lot of time, the micro belly. So this will be our crab bait. And these make good crab bait. These macro because they're oily fish. So they're good uh, crab bait for blue crabs. The next thing I do is cut the bloodline out. Put right next to that bone. It went down the bloodline. Just use the weight of your knife on it. And if you rub your finger down, if you see white, you're down deep enough. But don't want to go through to the skin. And you reach up, grab a hold of this piece of meat there, right in the, right in the front. You see the bloodline there? You're pulling the bloodline. A little bit will stay there, but you cut that out when you're eating it. And then we cut the belly off. And you just cut some wedges out of here, the best you can to get out of them. Cut some of that meat off. And we'll tip our bucktail jigs with this. And that makes them hit them. Works good. Right? Mm -hmm. I oh, said that it works, works good. Yeah. yeah. 
look how pretty the meat is. It's, it's like a white, almost That's white. That's because we bled them. Let's grab it right up here. Just like a zipper. That's what it sounds like. Nice piece of meat. Beautiful piece of meat. Yep, all done, ready to put in the pan. Well, the mackerel flay is all ready for you, Joyce, and these really look good. And by bleeding them, they're a lot better to eat, and they don't have that taste it. Some people don't like mackerel. I don't know. I like mackerel even if they weren't bled. But a lot of people, when you catch mackerel, they say, what are you going to do with them? Smoke them or something? But no, we don't smoke them. These are good. It's one of our favorite fish, isn't it? Yes. One of, yes, one of the favorites. Right. You cook this. When she's done with it, the meat will be nice and white and it tastes good. It don't have any strong taste or anything. But mm -hmm. you have to bleed them. You can just see by looking at those fillets. And I, I should have did one we didn't bleed because we, we would eat it anyway, but it's a big difference when you don't bleed and they have a sort of a gray look to the meat. Yeah, the meat doesn't, it's, it's okay looking, but it's not as pretty as this. No. So what are you going to do with these things? First, I'm going to pat them dry. And you say put the skin side down. take some mayonnaise Let's put it in here you know sprinkle the fish with some garlic bay real simple and easy. And if you like Old Bay, then just smother them with Old Bay. Now we're going to take some ketchup. Just squeeze some of that in mayonnaise. Now I'm just going to put just a little tiny bit of salt because Old Bay is very salty. Take this and just stir it up. I'm gonna put some more garlic in here. And what you do with this, you just take it and brush it onto the fish. All you go. It's very easy, very simple, and very quick meal. And that's it, huh? You're gonna that's put it right it. in the oven. Right in the and you wanna put them on your broil under the broiler. About the second one down. Close up your oven door. Set the timer for about three minutes. Now, if you want to fry these, we want to skin them first, right? If you fry them. Um. Yeah. You. It's the best to the skin them. Then you got. Yeah. Those, for many, many people, sides. don't eat, eat used to eating fish. They just want to eat it fried, right. a whole piece of fish. It's good fried. So they're not really that hard to skin. The skin's a little soft, but it's tougher than what you think. So you just skin them first, and they really come out good fried. Oh yeah. They're you wouldn't good think fried. that type well, of fish or mackerel would be any good no. fried, but if you bleed them, that's a secret. You got to bleed them. Yeah, that's looking nice. So how long did you say you're going to cook that? I'm going to go for three minutes with this with this oven because this oven gets real hot. And uh, then we'll check them. 
It'll probably take a little longer than three minutes, so. So I lowered the rack down a little bit so it won't burn. Three minutes are up. And you can see this broiler, it gets very hot in there. Hey, they look really pretty and they actually smell good. All right, we got to check, see if they're done. Let's see. Not quite. They're about another, maybe another two minutes and they'll be ready to eat. Okay, we're going to try it again, see if they're done, huh? They're going to be done. You're sure this I'm time? I'm positive. Well, look at them cooking. They should be done. Now they look good. A little bit of brown on there. Oh yeah. They're done. See it's nice and see yeah, it's they'll cook a little bit now yeah. they sitting That's, there. See the white in there? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah they're done. Well, this is our standard meal when we're over here at Swanee. Fish, beans, and a potato, some type of potato. Years ago, I used to take my sons over here and their friends, and that's all we would have is potatoes, french fries, and fish. I, I would do the cooking, and it tastes really good when you're over here. Yeah, tastes, <laughs> our food tastes better Fresh over here. Fresh fish, yeah, yeah, we used to have a good time. So you want to try a piece of that mackerel? Yeah, so here you can see the skin is there right so you can either peel this off before you eat it like so yeah that's what we do like take it off it, then it, it peels off easy peels right? off you don't want to eat that some people might like that i think it's nasty yeah you can just you can, you know just flip your fillet over it's easier right. to clean or you can just eat it like this and the skin will stay put <clears throat> Good, cook mm -hmm. just right, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. If you cook it too long, the meat gets dry. Well, then that where you get the taste where people don't like mackerel. Mm -hmm. Right. You can't cook it too long. But you can see how how moist that meat is. Look how is. white it is. Mm-hmm. It's very good. It's like crab meat, right? Mm -hmm. So what I did with the baked beans, <clears throat> we had a tomato. I cut up the tomato and uh, put that in the baked beans and let it cook a little bit. Well, they look good. So if you enjoy our videos, we'd appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thanks a lot for watching.